sneaky. We can't wait to take you through today's vinyasa flow class. So vinyasa is essentially a class where we're tying together these string of poses together. And this is wonderful because no two vinyasa classes will ever be the same. It's essentially a way to express creativity and you're just moving seamlessly from one pose to another. So for those of you new to the practice, you're more than welcome to join this class. However, it might also help perhaps to attend some of my Hatha classes because in Hatha, we hold the poses a little bit longer and we go through some of the alignment. So that's going to help you get a better understanding of some of the postures. But in any case, we hope you enjoy the practice. Let's come and meet on the mat. Allow yourself to arrive on your mat for your practice. Take a moment just to feel each breath as it comes in and each breath as it leaves the body. Hands to the center of heart. Take a moment to yourself to reflect on the intention that you wish to bring about to your practice today. Releasing the hands, let's come and meet on all fours. Beginning with a nice, relaxing warm-up, moving through your cat-cow poses. Draw the chin to the chest as you round the back and lower the belly down as you draw the collarbones up towards the sky. From here, let's sink back into our child's pose and then ripple yourself forwards, come into your upward facing dog, lift the chest and exhale back to child's pose. Coming forwards again like a wave, draw the shoulder blades together, lift up and exhale, take it back to your child's pose. Rippling forwards to your upward facing dog, breathing here, exhale, child's pose. Take a deep breath in here and exhale. Nicely done, everyone. Meet back in tabletop position. Inhale, right arm goes up. Exhale, thread the right arm through, drop the cheek down. Inhale, opening up the chest. Exhale, thread it all the way through. Inhale, expanding through your chest. And hold here for a few breaths. Exhale, come back down to center. Left arm up to the sky and exhale, thread it all the way down, cheek down to the mat. Inhale as you breathe and expand. Exhale as you cave inwards. Breathing in, lift the fingertips high and exhale, thread it all the way through. Inhale, reaching up and hold. Take it back down to all fours. Now we're going to tuck the toes, lift your knees off the floor and hold here for three, two, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, draw one heel down, lift the other heel up. Do whatever you need to do to feel as though you have arrived on your mat for your practice. When you're ready, just come into that momentary stillness in Adho Mukha Svanasana, your downward facing dog. If the Ujjayi breath is in your practice, now would be the time to start to activate it. Let's come into a high plank pose, stack the shoulders above the wrists, drop the knees down, chin chest lowers. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale back to your downward facing dog. 
Inhale, rippling forwards back to plank. This time, maybe take a chaturanga. Untuck the toes as you lift the chest up. And exhale, take it back to your down dog. Inhale, coming back to plank pose. Take the vinyasa of your choice here. Lifting up, breathing in. And tuck the toes back to your downward facing dog. Bend the knees, slowly make your way to the front of the mat. Sway the body from right to left. Relax through the neck. Maybe shake your head yes or no. Hands release down and you uncurl your spine all the way up to a standing pose. We meet in Tadasana, mountain pose here. Inhale, sweep the arms up, taking a little arch through the spine. Exhale, fold all the way forwards, interlace your fingers, get a beautiful stretch through the chest. Place the hands down, step the right knee back, gaze up, left foot back, you're in plank pose. Vinyasa of your choice. Inhale to your upward facing dog and take it back to your downward facing dog. Let your breath flow naturally. In through the nose and out through the nose. Right leg goes up to the sky. Let's bring that right foot forwards, coming up into warrior one. Square off the hips. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, back to warrior two as you straighten the legs, reach forwards and come into your triangle pose. Look down, re-bend the knee and then reach the top arm forwards into extended side angle pose. Back to warrior two, cartwheel the hands down, step it back. Right leg up to the sky, maybe take your three-legged chaturanga if you're ready for that. If not, just take your knees, chest, chin, and let's meet back in your downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Couple more breaths here. Inhale, left leg goes up to the sky, step it forwards, rising up into warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior, stretch the chest. Exhale, back to warrior two, straighten the front leg, triangle pose. Look up to your right hand. Bend into the left knee, reach your right arm across, extended side angle pose. Come back up to warrior two, plank pose, and slowly take a vinyasa of your choice. Inhale, Urva Mukha, and exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a few conscious breaths here really starting to connect to the breath and noticing how your body feels. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale, bend the knees, send the glutes back, floating child. Inhale, ripple to plank. Exhale, floating child. Inhale, ripple forwards, plank. Exhale, shift the weight back to floating child. We meet back in plank and hold. Fire up the core, make sure your glutes are not too high here and start to protract all the way, lifting up the space between your shoulder blades. Lower down, chaturanga, up dog, and back to your downward facing dog. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. 
right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. Bring that right knee forwards, gonna rise up to warrior one. Place the hands down, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg rises up, bend the knee, open the hip. Make way as you step the left foot forwards, rising up to warrior one. Try and move slowly. Palms down, vinyasa. Let's all meet back in a downward facing dog. Right leg goes up to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, bring that right knee to your right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Open the hip. Exhale, knee to the nose, round through. Inhale, back up. Flip the dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Right leg, three-legged dog. Open the hip. And then step forwards. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes, reach the fingertips back for Anjanayasana lunge. Palms touch down, step it back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, coming into plank pose. Exhale to your floating child. Lift the hips high, wave forwards. Exhale, floating child. Inhale, take it back to plank. Exhale, floating child. Meet back in a plank pose and we're going to hold here. Fire up the core and breathe. Take a vinyasa of your choice. Up dog. Let's meet back in a downward facing dog. Pull your hamstrings back everyone and heels down to the mat if possible. Breathing here. Left leg now up to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. Left knee to left tricep. Inhale, back up. Bend the knee. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, point the toes, lift. Bend the knees. Let's take a twist across to your right elbow. Inhale, back up. Open the hip. And let's step forwards. Lower the back knee. Untuck the toes, reach the arms back for Anjanayasana. Palms release down. Very slowly step back to plank, vinyasa of your choice. And let's meet back in a downward facing dog. Breathing in. Lower down to the knees. Let's take melting heart pose. Walk your hands, forearms down. Maybe your chest and your chin can reach down to the earth. If it doesn't reach, don't worry. Just start to feel this lifting sensation of your spine. It's very different to a child's pose. It's a form of a backbend. When you're ready, Take it back and relax in child's pose. If the glutes don't reach the heels, you can separate your knees a little bit wider. Make your way back up very slowly and let's meet back in downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Bend the knees, step, jump or float to the front. Lift your chest halfway and exhale, fold to Uttanasana. Reach the arms up, arching through the spine. 
hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, sink back to Utkatasana, your chair pose. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Sink the glutes down and send your gaze up towards the space between your hands. Come forwards to half chair, belly rest on thighs. The gaze is down towards the tiptoes. For a bit of a challenge, you can lift your heels off the floor if you would like. Palms down, step back just a little bit. Let's come into crow pose. If you need your blocks, place your blocks in front of your forehead. Hold here in crow for three, two, one. Shoot the legs back, chaturanga everyone, up dog to your downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Right leg goes up to the sky. Bend your knee. Exhale. Step the right foot forwards into pigeon. If the right glute is not connected to the earth, make sure you sit on something. And then just inhale. Lift the chest. Exhale. Fall down. Inhale. Lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And then if you want to go a little bit deeper, depending on the range of motion on your right hip, maybe bring the right knee parallel to the mat. Fold your chest forwards and take a few relaxed breaths in pigeon pose. Lift yourself back up, palms down. Let's meet back in a downward facing dog. Left leg goes up to the sky. Open the hip, bend the knee, and then bring that left foot through to pigeon. Make sure your right knee is straight here, everyone, and sit on a block if you need to. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lifting high, and exhale, coming all the way down. Inhale, lifting the chest, and exhale, folding down. Inhale, we rise, maybe readjusting that left leg, depending on how you're doing, and just let your body surrender here in pigeon pose. Very slowly, let's drag that right foot forwards and you're up in a seated position. Reach the arms up on the inhale and let's come into a seated forward fold. Hands go wherever they meet and use your breath to simply melt the chest down onto your thighs. You can bend the knees as much as you need to. Once you've found this beautiful stretch, just take a moment here. Let your body settle. Break the pose. Right foot to the inside of the left thigh, reach the arms up and fold forwards. Your hands can go wherever they reach. Just sink the chest down into your head to knee pose. Janu Shirasasana. Lifting up, coming into gate pose, right hand back, left hand reaches up, inhale, exhale, come back forwards, inhale, sweep up, hips go high, exhale, coming forwards, last one, inhale, reaching back, lift the chest, lift the heart, and exhale, come 
forwards. Let's slowly swap the legs around here. Hug the left foot in. Inhale, reaching the arms up here. And fold into Janushirasasana. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, left hand goes behind you, reaching the right hand back. Exhale, coming forwards. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, coming forwards. Inhale, reaching back and hold. Exhale, come forwards. And then release your legs. Let's come to lie on our backs, everyone. Bend the knees, soles of the feet down. Then draw the knees into the chest, hugging the knees as you walk from side to side. Grab hold of the edges of your feet to come into your happy baby pose. You can rock from side to side or just stay still here. Head and shoulders heavy on the mat. Cooling the body down. Just enjoy this stretch. Now come down, place the hands underneath the glutes, lift your chest and tuck the crown of the head down to the mat, coming into your fish pose. Option to lift your hands and your feet 45 degrees is a different variation of the fish if you choose to. Release the hands, tuck the chin in, and separate your feet mat with apart. We're coming into corpse pose, Shavasana. Let go of any type of contrived breathing and just allow your mind to rest. Give your body an opportunity to receive and feel all the changes that you've put it through in this practice today. Start to move your fingers and the toes. Hug the knees into the chest. Take a few rocks from left to right. When you're ready, come and lie on the right side. Take your time. And gently prop the body back up to a comfortable seat. Come into that same pose that we started off at at the start of our practice. Acknowledging how the body feels now. If you have noticed any shifts in your mind and in the body. Hands to the center of heart. Dedicate the fruits of your practice towards that intention. May our actions of body, speech and mind be motivated by kindness and compassion always. Thank you so much you guys for joining today's practice. If you've enjoyed the classes with me, make sure to sign up to my YouTube channel for weekly classes to your inbox. In the meantime, keep a happy mind and a happy heart. Namaste!